We haven't done a collection video in about three or four months, so we are long overdue. So we're starting this off in the laundromat. So doing a little walkthrough before we start collecting our race car game. Had some error on it. Our stacker was looking good. Our barber cut machine, someone won the giant Pikachu hanging there and then the other prize in the middle. And then we were checking out our mini claw machine. All the cash was rolled up to the side, which means it had been played a lot. And then our coin pusher looked like it had been shaken with the camera and the plant knocked over. And there were a lot of bills missing, which means a lot of people won. So now we're gonna just jump into the collection of our claw machines first. The great thing about these large claw machines is that there's space in the side to put more plush, except our restock has been emptied. So we need to restock our restock. And also to note, when we collect from the laundromat now, we just dump each machine's bucket of quarters into one giant bag. So I won't be able to tell you what each machine made, but we're going to be giving you the full total of how much this location made within the last 34 days. We noticed that the little plastic thing covering the LED lights was missing. Someone completely took it out, which is crazy, but kids will be kids. It's a laundromat. That's why we don't typically put our best machines in here because they'll either get broken or dirty. But we do always try to keep our machines up to date and just cleaning them whenever we go and collect, making sure that they're always restocked and just being a good vendor overall. That's still super important with any location that you have. Looking in this bucket, it was halfway full, which is so good. The race car game killed it this month. The other medium claw machine beside it, not so much because there was a coin jam and the bill acceptor hasn't been working for a long time. And now that we got our new order in, we have more bill acceptors so we can actually replace that or figure out what's going on with it. And then moving on, our stacker didn't make that much. Our barber cut was also jammed, but it's part of it. We always typically come in and restock once a week or once every two weeks just to check on all of our machines and make sure everything's good. We don't just come here once a month, but we were in and out of town so we were just running into restock and then we didn't have time to collect until it's been a little over a month. So in the past 34 days, the coin pusher alone made $1,169.25. Totally insane coin pushers kill it and then all the other machines made a total of $809.25 leaving us with a total of $1,978.50 within the last 34 days. Another new thing we've been doing which has been so so helpful is this giant bucket of product. So when we go around to all of our mini claw machine locations we put the same variety mix in each machine. So having a bin full of the same product and then a little bag allows us to just hand scoop everything into the bag and then take the bag into the location to restock. So much easier than a cardboard box like we used to do. Um, and then also grabbing some wet wipes, that way we can clean off the machine because keeping it clean makes people want to play. No one wants to play on machines that have ice cream dripping down the side. So that's super important for us is to make sure that they just appear very clean and simple and just look really nice on location. So going into this location first, it is an ice cream shop location. Surprisingly, this location had a lot of fives and tens in here, which is always so nice to see. But now we're just organizing it into the same stack. That way we can count it, roll the quarters, and then pay the owner here while we're on the spot. And in total, this location made $179.75. And that was for the last 22 days. But now moving on to another location, a meat market. So this location is also a 22 day collection and it looks pretty empty. The bill acceptor was also not working. It's always so frustrating when the bill get stuck on the very end that causes it not to work and we are so excited to upgrade all of these machines to our bill stackers that we just got in our previous order which if you haven't watched that video go ahead and check it out it's a fun one um, a lot of new things come in and a lot of things that we had been waiting for finally arrived so we were so excited and happy to share that but in total this meat market made $142 again the bill acceptor wasn't really working we weren't sure for how long and also it's just a slower location but it beats the machine sitting in the warehouse I'm also trying to post more daily work vlogs over on our TikTok. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow us over there. We'll have it linked down below. But now for our last location of this video, it is another ice cream shop location in which we have one large claw machine and one mini claw machine in here.
In the past 22 days, this boba mini claw machine made a total of $185.50. And we also have this large boba plush that we keep in the bottom of the machine. That way, in case someone wins the one above it, we have it there to be able to restock it right away. And now we're going to be moving on to our large claw machine, which this one is full of squish mellows, which if you haven't watched this video, go ahead and check it out. We switched it from a normal plush claw machine into a squish mellow claw machine. And you could watch that to see kind of if the profits change, which as you can tell by us bagging this money, it definitely does really, really good. And in the past 22 days, the large claw machine made $481, leaving us with a total of $666.50 from this one location. Then we realized the LED lights were not working, so Eli was trying to mess with all the different plugins to see what was going on. We just thought it was a fuse that was broken. They would kept flickering on and off. Oh, now it's just white. That's pretty cool. Not supposed to be like that though. To end off this collection video, we collected a total of $2,900. $66.75. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this type of collection video, that way we can make more of them for you guys. And also stay tuned for a new video coming this weekend about a review of our new mini claw machines because a lot of you guys are asking if we're selling them and just asking us what they look like. So we're just going to show you the machine and all of their features. So go ahead and subscribe so you can stick around for that video and thank you guys so much for watching as always.